Janine from the City Manager's Office. Today we are in front of the Coronado Fire Department to highlight the upcoming Public Safety Open House. It's coming right up. Here's Fire Chief Mike Blood to talk about the big event that involves fire, police, and lifeguards. This is going to be our 24th annual uh, open house. A number of years ago we decided to make it a public safety open house. It involves the firefighters, the lifeguards, the police department. Uh, we end up wrapping the entire block from 7th Street over to 6th Street. We uh, take over the uh, connecting parts of D um, and we invite the public in to not only see what uh, things that we offer, um, but also gives them a chance to meet some of the firefighters that we have here, some of our police officers, local lifeguards. Um, we interact with, uh, with the kids. We give them uh, fire department uh, uh, rides on, the, on a mini fire engine. We have uh, jumpies. We have rock climbing walls, uh, uh, bouncies, uh, dunk tanks, plenty of entertainment. We also have some educational items. We have a, uh, a this year we're going to have a 9-11 uh, fire rescue apparatus with actual uh, parts that came from uh, the actual uh, uh, towers. So that'll be an, an educational component. We also have our cert folks here. We have a uh, uh, the police department has many different uh, items that are educational as well as welcoming the public into the police department to see that. Uh, they'll have bomb squad folks on hand. Uh, uh, a number of different uh, people uh, will serve hot dogs and drinks and we really uh, we cherish this opportunity on Fire Prevention Week to get to know the public, have them get to know us and um, it's really a good interaction. Another big event in town is next week's International Walk to School Day, set for Wednesday, October 5th at all local schools. The effort is to show students, families, and the community that walking or biking to school is fun, easy, and good for you. City staff, school and elected leaders, and officials with Circulate San Diego will be on hand to greet students and hand out information and giveaways. The city received a grant last year from the Safe Routes to School Education Project through the California Department of Transportation. Together with the Coronado Unified School District, Circulate San Diego, and the San Diego County Bicycle Coalition, the city has begun work on the second year of a two-year plan to support student safety. The grant has allowed the city to hire Circulate San Diego to conduct workshops and rodeos for parents and students during the school year. October is Rideshare Month. Join the city of Coronado for next month in celebrating the many benefits of commuter alternatives. The city encourages residents, its employees, and local businesses to try an alternate commute in October to save money, reduce stress, and have fun. Find out more about the program, special prizes and incentives, corporate challenges your employer may be sponsoring, and about the special Uber pool promotions by visiting iCommuteSD.com or by calling 511 and saying iCommute. Residents may have noticed some work crews on several city streets doing some grinding and prep work for a large slurry seal project. The work is part of a street preventive maintenance program where every year the city puts a new slurry seal surface on one seventh of the city's roadways. First Street, Strand Way, the Bayshore Bikeway from Fiddler's Cove to the Coronado Cays entrance, and residential streets in the Country Club area will be experiencing temporary road closures through October 5th to receive slurry seal and new striping. Residents are asked to make necessary arrangements for the day their street will be slurry sealed as vehicle access to and from their homes may not be possible between 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. Thanks for your patience. The Coronado Cultural Arts Commission will open a new exhibition next week at the Coronado Community Center or C3 Gallery featuring local student art. The 2016 Genuine Islanders exhibition opening reception is set for Tuesday, October 4th from 6 to 7.30 p.m. and will feature art from nearly 50 student artists. The public is invited to the reception at the Community Center, 1825 Strand Way. This week's Pet of the Week is Macy, who came to pause as a stray. This leggy girl is looking for a home. This is Macy. She's a two-year-old tall chihuahua. We think she may have a little bit of Italian greyhound in her. She's a lovely, lovely girl. She's... What? What did you say? She rides well in the car, she walks well on the leash, look at the camera. She um, gets along with other dogs. She would be a wonderful addition to most any home, probably with kids 10 years or older. And uh, she'd do well in an apartment. She'd be a, a good addition to apartment life. 
Um, she was very nervous when she came in, but our dog walking program, the dogs get walked twice a day, and it's just brought her around. She's friendly with everybody, aren't you? Aren't you? You look a little nervous. They tell me that's the chihuahua in her. Those interested in finding out more about Macy can call the Animal Care Facility at 619-522-7371 to arrange a visit. For more information on these events and all the city's news, check out the City Manager's Weekly Update online.